Piers Morgan, former CNN host, wrote a blistering op-ed addressing the 2018 midterm elections in the Daily Mail. In his editorial, Morgan did not mince words, predicting that President Donald Trump was ready to deliver the biggest knockout punch of his presidency with a Republican win in the midterms. What did he say? In the Monday op-ed, Morgan issued a stark warning to Democrats, President Trump is winning. The journalist and TV presenter also noted that the Democrats are heading for a midterms disaster. According to the NBC, Wall Street Journal poll, Trump is now at 47 percent approval, compared to Obama's 45 percent two weeks before the midterm elections in 2010, Morgan said. Given all the fire, brimstone and perpetual outrage about Trump since he won the White House, this is a truly remarkable state of affairs, Morgan explained that the response from America's liberals will doubtless be poor, and noted that they will react with fury, incredulity, and by sticking their collective heads in the sand, how can this be happening, they will wail uncontrollably, he wrote. What the F asterisk 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 is wrong with people WHO like him, they will howl into each other's kale salads. Morgan explained that the liberals' tears will all be music to the ears of Trump, who Morgan said is a man who absolutely revels in liberal hysteria, because he knows works for him. He wrote that the prospect of liberal outrage helped spur on conservatives and Republicans to the polls in droves in order to vote in the midterm elections. In two weeks' time, Trump may deliver the biggest knockout punch of his presidency, Morgan said. Until recently, it was widely assumed the Republicans would lose control of the House of Representatives in the midterm elections. It was being depicted as a damning referendum on Trump, and historically, most presidents, like Obama, take a whack in the midterms, he added. Now, I'm not so sure, he wrote, adding that he believes there's a very good chance that the Republicans will not only hang on to the House and Senate, but that the president will go on to secure an even larger victory in the 2020 presidential election. Why does he think this is happening? Morgan said that the reason Trump has succeeded thus far is because the media has cried wolf too many times, their constant collective outrage over every tiny thing Trump says, tweets, or does, much of it driven by commercial self-interest, has had the inevitable effect of diluting the impact of that outrage, he wrote, and gave several examples of Trump derangement syndrome. Morgan added that liberal and leftist celebrity figureheads are just as bad with their use of social media activism to express their anti-Trump views, and these two components have helped the president to become ever more popular with his base and with the Republican Party. It's the same flawed, arrogant and elitist mentality that led to Hillary Clinton branding Trump supporters a basket of deplorables in a speech that I still believe did more than anything else to lose her the election, Morgan wrote. I look at the Democrats today and see a party that's learned absolutely nothing about how to beat Trump. Trump, who has become a political Godzilla, in Morgan's eyes, is a president who is growing stronger by the day. As a result, he wrote, Anything else? Morgan went on to know Trump's accomplishments in the two years he's been in office. In his examples, Morgan pointed to his two Supreme Court nominees, which secured a conservative majority on the court. He also pointed to tax reform, economical regulation reform, a booming economy, mass job creation, and record low levels of U.S. unemployment. Morgan also highlighted Trump's peace talks with North Korea and his trade war with China, and mentioned Trump's withdrawal from NAFTA and subsequent modifications to trade deals between the U.S., Mexico, and Canada, and the Iran nuclear deal, L. Ove him or loathe him, there is no denying that he's winning, Morgan wrote. Oh, NCE again, I can only advise the Democrats to stop their ridiculously self-defeating state of perpetual Trump outrage and work out how they're actually going to beat him, why? Because Morgan believes that, right now, Trump's kicking your asterisk asterisk, you can read Morgan's full op-ed here.